me tonight Cause my feeling is just so right As we dance by the moonlight Can't you see? You're my delight Lady, I just feel like I won't get you out of my mind I feel love for the first time And I know that it's true I can tell by the look in your eyes Hey what's up guys, Hydro453 here and welcome back to another video on my channel and today's video as you can probably tell it's an in, it's an in real life video so it's not Fortnite or anything else like that and uh, to be honest I don't really know if I'm going to be making any Fortnite videos for uh, a while or, or at least until they revert the updates that they've been making recently it's just the entire stretch resolution thing is that, that kind of was a cherry on top because you know the shields and stuff being taken away was you know, that was, that was a bad thing, but the stretch being removed was even worse for me. So, you know, it's kind of beside the point, but yeah, just something you know, not going to be many Fortnite videos for quite a while. So, this is a good idea I had. I've been, you know, meaning to make one of these sort of videos for quite a while now. Um, but, you know, my setup's finally sort of uh, fully came together. I don't really think I'm going to be making any drastic changes to it anytime soon. So, uh, yeah, this is what it's probably going to be like for quite a while now. So, uh, I thought it was a good time to make a video on it. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so the thing that's probably caught uh, a decent amount of attention uh, on my setup here is, is my keyboard. So, um, as you can see, I've got some Tai Hao rubber keycaps. So, I've got these in green. Um, most people get them in pink and stuff uh, and blue uh, because, you know, Tfue uses them. And, uh, not gonna lie, Tfue did make these key these uh, keycaps pretty damn popular, the rubber ones here. Um, so, yeah, Tai Hao's probably get, been getting a lot of money. The the pink ones and everything have been, go has been out of stock for quite a while now. Um, so, you know... They're very good. I have got I got I got green ones anyways because I was gonna be getting green it was originally just gonna be a green keycap set and then pink rubber ones. But I decided to change it up a little bit and go with a pink uh well not really fully pink, but you know, pinky purple sort of keycap set with uh green uh, rubber keycaps and I I think it looks pretty damn good. Um it's a nice keycap set. It doesn't really feel like too soft or anything, so it's really nice. I like how it, I like the, the texture a lot. 100% would recommend getting these, and uh, yeah, it's a good key keyboard, it's a GK61, uh, it doesn't come with any switches actually, I forgot to mention that, so you got to buy your own switches and put them in and everything like that, but yeah, apart from that, it's, great. it's a fantastic keyboard, and uh, yeah, 100% recommend it. Alright, moving on to some other peripherals here, we've got my uh, headphones, these are just the uh, Audio-Technica ATH N50Xs, these are a really good pair of headphones, Ship super nice quality, uh, good build quality and everything, just overall, good sound, everything like that. Pretty damn good, would would recommend. And we've also got my mouse here, so uh, this is probably going to change soon, but I always uh, change mice anyway, so it's fine. Uh, this is a, the one I'm using at the moment is a, a BenQ Zowie FK2 with a uh, pink paracord, and I've also got hyperglides on the bottom of them, so it glides super nice. Um, yeah, it's it's good good mouse, it's good for palm grip. Uh, well, I don't really use palm, but palm claw is good. But yeah, you can, you can definitely palm this. It's also ambidextrous, so if I've got my left hand here, you can see it fits totally fine. So yeah, it's a good mouse, would recommend. All right, now this is not really a part of the setup, but I just have it on my desk most of the time anyways. Uh, these are my Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless Earphones. Uh, so it's in its case here. It's pretty damn good. I do recommend them. They've got really nice sound quality. Um, yeah, pretty good pretty good earphones. I use them all the time when I travel and just go out and whatever. The sound, uh, they sound even better than my, my headphones that I've got here, and they're wired as well. So these are really good. Um, not not very cheap, but you know they're definitely good if you want some nice earphones. And this is kind of last like sort of peripheral or like thing that just sits on my desk all the time. Um, it's that I use a lot. It's my wireless charger. It's just a basic uh, white wireless charger from Huawei, um, and it, yeah, works fine. Got good fast charging. Um, I'm not sure how much it is, but yeah, it's good 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 uh, charger. And also, I forgot to mention uh, my mouse pad that I'm using. So I'm just using a basic, uh, glorious PC gaming race mouse pad. I'm probably going to change this soon to a Cooler Master MP510 uh, because, uh, to be honest, this is a little bit too small for me. I know it's it looks massive, but it's just because like vertical, I don't really have enough room. I like to be going like up here, maybe a bit more than just like the space I've got. But um, if I use a faster sensitivity, I'm sure it'd be fun. But I'm kind of getting used to slow uh, sense, and it's just not really. Um, good for that because I can't really move vertically that much so I've got kind of had to make my sense a bit 
bit faster, but that's alright. It's, it's a good pad overall, the, the, apart from like the size of it and everything. You can get you can get bigger ones of course, but like they're a little bit more expensive. If the actual padding on this or the actual like material is really good for glide, I'd say it's like kind of a it's kind of it's more of a speed pad than a control pad. Um, but it's not like anything as fast as like a, a an ROG scabard or something like that. So um, you know, it's it's a good pad. Would recommend. It's just a normal, normal basic basic one, and yeah, it's a good price as well. I'm moving on to uh, a microphone thingy that I've got here. It's what I use to record most of my videos on. Um, I've got the Rode NT USB uh, microphone, and it is hooked up to this uh, newer microphone stand. So this microphone stand is absolute garbage. I it's it's. It's only, it's not very expensive anyways, it's a pretty, it's a really, really cheap one, it's from eBay, I got it really cheap, but um, you know, it's not, it's, it's not really designed for these sort of mics, because this one's pretty heavy, and I, I, most people usually buy these to go with like a Blue Yeti or something, so if you're buying that, it's definitely fine, uh, I, I reckon, but it's just, it was, just, first of all, it's just a pain to set up in the first place, and it's already damaged, like it just bent on the side there, and it's all scraping as well, so, it's kind of annoying how it does that, um, but it, it still holds up fine. If I just push it back, I, it's probably going to break, so I, I just have to keep it like just like this all the time. But I mean, it does its job at least, so it's not like the worst thing ever, um, but you know, definitely annoying. Alright, and moving on to the PC. Uh, this is my own PC that I cut. That I made myself pretty much, uh, apart from the help with a few friends um, when I did it, like the, did some water cooling and that sort of stuff as a school project. But um, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a good PC. I love it. It's got an i7-7700, a GTX 1080 by Galax, uh, 16 gigabytes of a, a G-Skill um, DDR4 RAM. It's the Triton Z uh, RAM, so it's got the cool RGB on it, so it looks really nice. See if I can turn this brightness down a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. So yeah, it's a pretty good uh, good setup. I've also got the Corsair LL uh, 120mm fans in there. They're RGB. Uh, I just have them set on pink at the moment to give that nice little uh, glow. And uh, yeah, good PC overall. Um, yeah, it's it's nice. I'm kind of, kind of overkill with the water cooling, to be honest. It doesn't really do very much, but... I mean, first of all, it looks nicer, and I'm also future-proof, because if I'm ever to upgrade the CPU, uh, there's no need to buy a new cooler, because, I, you know, I've got a nice water cooling thing here, and it's just, yeah, it should be good for pretty much any CPU that I need to put in there. All right, and the monitors here, so the main monitor that I'm using here is a, um, it's an AOC monitor, it's got G-Sync and it's 180 hertz. Um, it's actually, well, in the box, it's 144, but you can just use the monitor menu, and you can actually make it uh, 180. Uh, with an overclock, uh, I don't really see a difference between both of them in terms of colors because generally, when you get a monitor and you overclock it, uh, it sometimes makes the colors a little bit more drained out. Uh, but this one, I think it's it's fine. I just think that sometimes maybe it might be like a little bit unstable when it's on 180. So to just say on the box it's 144 um, to be safe. But yeah, it's it's a good uh, monitor. It has the actual model number right there. It's a G2460PG. Uh, good monitor, good price. Uh, yeah, 24 inches. It's not bad. And my secondary monitor here is a Samsung monitor. Um, it's, six, it's only 60 hertz and it's uh, 1080p. This is the monitor I originally had before I upgraded to this. Um, so I'll just make this my secondary one now. It's a uh, yeah, good monitor. The colors I reckon are a lot nicer than this one. But this is more of a game monitor, so colors aren't really that important. But yeah, this is a good monitor for like editing, uh, you know, pictures and stuff in Photoshop because the colors are so accurate. Um, you know, and they just look nice overall. I mean, Samsung does make pretty damn good displays. Um, along with LG and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, it's a good monitor, good good price as well. It's a nice budget monitor. So, yeah, it's good. And then we got up my webcam here. I don't really use this very often, um, but, you know, it's fine. Oh, gosh, yeah, you can see webcam a bit better now. Yeah, this, it's a webcam, it's just a normal uh, Logitech one. It was like 30 bucks or something, and I just use it to, uh, for my keyboard cam when I occasionally stream. Um, so, yeah, it's nice. Good uh, webcam for the price. And moving on to like the sort of things that I just have on my on my desk, like decorations and stuff. We've got this little Hawaiian uh, girl thingy um, that my friend uh, Speedy Films <laughs> got for me. Uh, so yeah, it's good. I like it. He went to Hawaii and he got that for me when he um, came back. So I like it. It's a nice little touch of the setup. I got my Nintendo Switch here with pink and green controllers. That I didn't buy it with these controllers. I got the controllers later on. And it definitely makes the setup pop because it matches everything else. I've got my mouse bungee here, it's just a cheap one off eBay. It's a uh, rip-off version of the Zelly Kamage, so um, instead of paying the ridiculous price of like 50 bucks for the Zelly Kamage, you can just get this one. A little potted plant there to cover up the cables. And my Philips here you go, 
uh, lamp which I have on green. Pretty good. We've also got this uh, little nice uh, green like fake plant thing here as well. Uh, nice to go behind the monitor because like the lids sort of go out like that. And looks really good with the whole setup like green and pink. Green and pinky purple more like so. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for my setup. I've also got this little um, uh, soundproofing foam things. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the entire setup, guys. I want to make this a little bit of a quick video. Uh, but yeah, it took a little bit of a, took a long time to actually get. I've been trying. I've been working on this for over two years now. Um, well, not really on this specific setup, but like on a good setup. And um, yeah, it's definitely finally come together. I'm really happy with it. So as you probably saw in the montage at the very start there, have, you can see what it used to be like and what it is now. So uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I, most people kind of get, like they see these setup videos and go, oh, you know, they just got that. You know, instantly it just comes, it just, they just buy everything and they just, you know, automatically get that set up. But not really, most people who have these crazy setups, they all started like, you know, most people do start, they set off with a kind of, not very good sort of setup, and then it gets really good after that I put lots of time and effort into it. And um, yeah, I, I, put, I did make most of this myself as well, guys. I put together the desk and everything like that. Um, I put together most of the PC myself too. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty much everything here I put together myself. Uh, so yeah, pretty happy with it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you guys did like this sort of style of video, you know, no, not gaming related, more of a just real life video, then definitely uh, leave a like and subscribe to, uh, you know, show me that you guys actually do like this video. Because, you know, if I get lots of likes, it makes me know that, you know, people will like this video and I should do more of it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, yeah, peace out.